everybody, welcome to Fit and Fun. I'm Missy Kane, so glad you're tuning in. And we're gonna have a wonderful show today. We're gonna do a lot of strength and core and good for our back, a little bit of yoga, and also kind of bring in a little bit of weights with it. Um, so we're gonna start out and do some shoulder shrugs, make it feel good. And I have someone on my show today that was actually on my show about 10 years ago or more, <laughs> Sydney Gambuza. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So you probably don't even remember exactly being on the show. I remember faintly, but not <laughs> <laughs> not very much. Two years ago, and um, Sydney came on the show, and we did a little yoga then because your mom was really into yoga. Yes, and all she that. was a yoga instructor. So tell everybody uh, a little bit about yourself, who, and we've got some pictures of your family, I think, too, you yeah. sent in, because I've known your mom and dad for a long time. Yeah, um, I'm 20. I'm a student at UT. I will be a sophomore, and I've just always been interested in working out and staying healthy and Frank Gambuza and mom Belinda I met Frank um, in 1983 I believe and we used to trade out haircuts because they're the owners of salon massage traded out haircuts with Frank and I coached your dad and <laughs> I had a corporate running program over at Children's Hospital at the time and your dad knew some folks over there so he was in my class <laughs> so it goes back a long <laughs> way um, so you do work out obviously yeah that's it Johnny Long's with uh, my trainer, Sarah Van Sickle. Oh yeah, Sarah's been on the show and a new mama and all yes. that now. Great gal, was a soccer player at UT and some of, are these some of your sorority these sisters? These are my sorority sisters at UT in Tridel. That's a lot of fun, it keeps you um, focused and all that. Gotta make good <laughs> grades, right? Absolutely, it's nice for time management. Big family there. Cause I know your little brother Gavin, he's a track runner, right? Yes. And cross, and country. cross country. That's right. Yeah. And those are just some lifelong friends I've had since I was little. Neat. Yeah. Um, we're going to do some big arm circles and just kind of warm it up. And Sydney's going to go with through some yoga poses. And again, I told Sydney, and I will tell you all, I'm not a yoga instructor, but I do like to do some yoga type of strength moves and stretches because as we all age, uh, our backs need some work, right? <laughs> We were reflecting, um, your dad Frank is doing great now and he's taking care of his health, but every once in a while, like Frank, we'll have periods in our life where we have some back pain, right? Your dad had some. Yeah. And it's luckily it's a lot better. And now what we're gonna do before we get into it is sometimes I like to do uh, like child's play, like going like this, back and forth, swinging your arms and just relaxing back and forth. Also, this is good for your low back. And, um, you're wanting to go into the same industry as your folks, right? Is your yeah. goal right now? My major is retail and consumer science to get the business side under my belt. And then I will go to beauty school after and get into the hair industry. Great plan. Cause um, you know, that is one thing. I was um, at an event that I saw you the other day and, and your dad is very good about education. And uh, let's do a few more of these arm circles and we're gonna kind of bend and come around. Um, Frank and Belinda, had a whole day where they had motivational speakers from all over the country and talking about all the latest hair and uh, spa type of events going on. And your dad is big on kind of helping people better themselves, isn't he? Yes, absolutely. And continuing education. And a lot of hair salon owners around the country got their start with Frank and Belinda, I think. Quite yeah. a few. Two more. Good job, everybody. All right, I think we're warmed up. We're gonna get a sip of water. So you guys keep some water close by today so you can sip on it while we work out. I think I've got some over there for Sydney and I've got some here. And again, this is gonna be easy. So even if you don't do yoga, you can follow along and do what we're gonna do. It's not gonna be that hard. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna just step out like this, like a lunge. And our feet are pretty much going forward like this. and try to keep nice and tall through your back and just lift up like this and hold this some deep breaths and Sydney that this year you're moving into some of the new uh, sorority houses right for tried out yeah they've been built about a couple of years ago in sorority village they're really nice and very protected uh, gates around it very secure correct <laughs> That used to be the hill over there where I would run my cross country team up and down the hill over there. 
Oh yeah, there's plenty of hills. <laughs> yeah, plenty of hills all around UT. Okay, hold this for a few seconds more. Good job, release. And we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna step out and step back or step out. And I could have Sydney lead this class because she's a lot better at this than I am. And reach those arms up high. Some deep breaths. Hold a few more seconds. I know your mom stays fit with yoga, but now she's into other sports, right? Yeah, she's taken on tennis recently and has put a lot of time commitment into that. She is competitive. <laughs> That's for sure. Lift those arms straight up. You're doing good out there, everybody. And release. Now we're going to go to uh, Warrior Two. So we're going to step back. And this time, we're going to have a lunge stretch. And we're going to have our front foot going forward. Our back foot is turned. And then we're going to come up like this, have a strong pose. And I know, seeing Belinda at the salon, salon massage, she is always, she's younger than me, but we're both getting a little older, but your mom's always had great muscle tone. And I think a lot of it's from yoga, isn't it? Yes, she started out as a yoga instructor and has done yoga throughout her life to keep up with um, just staying healthy. And she also incorporates typical uh, weightlifting as well. Well, and I bet that helps uh, a hair stylist working with her arms and everything every day. Hold this a little bit further, a few more seconds. Now, um, what we can do, if you can do this at home, is you can do a reverse where we're gonna kind of lean back and lift that arm up to your comfort level. Good job, everybody. And come back into Warrior Two. A few deep breaths. And relax, kind of shake it out. And other side, Warrior Two. So again, same thing, we're doing that lunge, but we had that back foot turned in a little bit and we're gonna come, have some strong arms here. Check my form. And your dad, um, had a recent award. Tell everybody what your dad is president of. It's pretty impressive. He just got nominated president of Intercloth Year for uh, North America or <laughs> yeah, that USA is. and Canada. And so he's been traveling a lot, right? Yes, he's traveling on a weekly basis all over the country. Well, that is, I mean, he, that's amazing. I mean, because I remember meeting your dad from New Jersey, right? And um, back here in Knoxville in 83 in a little bitty house. Um, so your dad and mom have done a lot of work, haven't they? <laughs> Start out in a small little one bedroom white house. Yep, over there off Sutherland Avenue. Couple deep breaths, everybody. Good job. And then we're gonna come back. A little bit like a reverse, coming back, stretching. A few more seconds. Back to Warrior Two, And you guys could even follow along with this in a chair. I did a um, class at Humana Guidance Center for seniors and we got a good workout in. Some of the people are using chairs so you can adapt this however you need to. Good job. Okay, release it and get a little sip of water. We're gonna come back and add on a little bit. So how did freshman year go? Was it hard to focus on school and all you had going on too? Actually, all being so busy made it easier to stay organized and I got better grades than I ever did in high school. Good so. for you, yeah. You, did you go to Bearden? I did, okay. I graduated from Bearden. And um, I remember with my daughter, Kelsey, who is now almost 26, she was a lady vol, so that gave her structure and she mm -hmm. didn't have time to, to do anything where she shouldn't be, which I know you <laughs> wouldn't either. But I think that really helps um, college students get involved with something. You know, a sorority, uh, we do a lot of community service projects too. Yeah. What do y'all like to do with Tridel? Um, for Tridel, we are with St. Jude, and so we're yeah. the top 
child uh, chapter fundraiser. Oh, that's great. For all of them. St. Jude walkathons and all that, and the telethon. I bet you all help out at the telethon and some of those projects. We're back to Warrior Two, guys, and we're going to add on a little bit to this with um, uh, going down into a triangle pose. A few more seconds here. And then you guys come down and you can put your forearm down close to your quad and then lift up that back hand up and over. And try to concentrate on your fingertips looking up. I can feel this. A few more seconds. Now, Sydney and I are going to straighten that front leg out. So we're going to straighten that front leg out and then kind of slide down it like we're making a triangle. And you guys try this because for me, Sydney's younger, but it's, this is working my balance a lot. And if you can slide down to your ankle, great, or even further, I can get to about to my ankle. I can feel my hamstring. Slide back up into that forearm on your thigh and lift up again. And then all the way up into warrior two. Good job, everybody. And shake it out and we'll do the other side. How did you manage not to gain, people always talk about the freshman 10 or 25 and yeah. you kept your weight down, how'd you do that? Well, walking to classes is like a 15, 20 minute walk everywhere, right. but I also tried to stay disciplined and continue Work out. working out at the T-Rec or oh, yeah, anywhere great on place. campus. Yeah. And you know, that is one thing. Uh, my boss over at Covenant Health, Gary, just went to New York and um, he said that in New York, he walked every day and he looked at his pedometer, it was like 15,000 steps. And he said, oh, Missy, yeah. nobody up there was very heavy. I mean, I got up to 10 miles one day uh, after tracking yeah. on my watch, you know, crazy. See, so walking a lot, a little strength work, even walking, you guys out there, if you do consistently, you can burn a lot of calories. So same thing on this Warrior Two. We're gonna kind of change it in a little bit to come down to more of a hand or forearm down here on your thigh, if you can, and then bring that back arm up. deep breaths now if you can straighten that front leg and we're going to slide down to your shin or if you can slide down to your ankle whichever one nice job come back to the bent knee arm bent And back to warrior two, like this. And now if we can, we could lean back a little bit to that reverse. And shake it out and let's get a little sip of water. Good job, everybody. We're gonna try to do a little bit harder things and you guys could um, adapt this or hold on to something next to you. We're gonna try to do Warrior Three, which is a little tougher with balance, but um, what, it's almost like we're Warrior One type of stance, but we're going to lift that back foot and I may have to tap down. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. If you're up like this, guys, you can tap your toe back and then try to get into more of this stance. If it's too hard for you, keep it down lower and just tap your toe down every once in a while. But you're stacking your weight over the mid part of your foot. I'm shaking, trying to hold it. And if you get unsteady, y'all, I'm just tapping down in between. Ah! Look like an airplane crashing here. And release. That is hard. So you guys have got to try this at home because it's pretty tough. You did well with that. Back on the other side. Let's see if I do any better this one. And then we're leaning forward, getting our weight in the proper 
Then coming up, glancing out. I know I'm not in the correct position all the way up, but just do what you can out there. Good job. Again, I'm going to tap down once and bring it back up. And release. Let's do it both sides again one more time. Kind of shake it out. And come like this. Now, are you more interested in cuts or color? Or right now you're... Um, right now I've been cutting and mm -hmm. learning how to do that with my dad so right. far. Okay, we got about 10 more minutes. We're doing good. And you designed jewelry. I should have had you break. You are into that too a little bit, right? I just did that a couple... Yeah, that's good. For yeah. a, little, a couple pieces. Because your, your salon massage has great jewelry there, too. We're going to um, do this again where we're stacking our weight. And then we're coming that back leg up. Remember, guys, you can tap down that toe if you need to. Bring it back up. I'm having to... This leg is not near as stable as the other one. A few more seconds. And release. Whew. I need to work on this. Hikers out there, my hikers, we need to do more of this. We're going to start doing it more on our get on trails at our lunch break because when we age, we may stay cardiovascular fit, but our balance mm -hmm. goes. So we need to work on that. Bar has been helping me. Bar yeah. fitness. Y'all do that at yeah. your sorority? Some too? No, I've just been taking Have bar you? classes in Knoxville. Yeah. That is good. And we're going to come up again. to breathe. I sometimes hold my breath trying so hard. Tap down like I need to every once in a while. Good job. And shake it out a little bit. Good job. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of um, kind of like when you're doing sun salutations. We're going to do a little bit of stretching. We're going to come down and go into downward dog and a little bit of plank. So we're going to Come around here and fold like this. Okay, hop back into more like a plank position. And let's hold this, guys, for a little bit, and then we're going to go down slowly. I'm going to hold this for about 10 seconds. Good job. All right, we're going to let ourselves down slowly, slowly. All the way down and then we're gonna press up now some of y'all can press way up I'm gonna go about to my elbows and press up and I was doing um, kettlebell too hard with my biggest winter team last winter at Fort Sanders and my back got a little out and my therapist mark was telling me to push up in this position a couple times a day back and forth and just hold it. All right, we're going to push up to downward dog. So we're going to push up, heels towards the floor, and try to get your ears kind of in line with your inside of your arms. Good job, everybody. Now, right foot in between like this. Good job. And left foot up and come all the way around and up. Good job. Fold it back down. Jump out to that plank position and we're going to hold it another 10 seconds. And we're going to, in about a few more seconds, we're going to take it down slowly, start going slowly down. All the way down and press up. Look up. Sydney, you could do you could teach some of this during your exams. I bet y'all get a little stressed out during <laughs> the exam time. time. Good job, everybody. And we're gonna push back up to downward dog.
Now bring that left foot in close. You can feel the stretch on the inside back of my hamstring. Feet together and all the way up and around. Good job, bring them in front here. Okay, this is a good one also. I'm gonna try to put like more like tree pose where you're peering in that right foot up a little bit. More like this, doing good out there. Again, you guys, if this is hard, you can always like tap down a toe and then just bring it back up. Good job. And shake it out a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side. This is my hard side. It's funny because my left leg is my my sore leg all the time, but um, when I'm bouncing on my right leg here, it's a little tougher. Try to pick a point in front of you guys and stare at it. Tap down if you need to. Good job. And relax it, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna get back down to the mat and do a um, uh, little bit of side planks for the side area. So come on down to our mat. We were gonna do weights, but we're running out of time. So I think we better stick without the weights today. We're gonna um, stack our feet guys, you know, like one on top of the other like this. And we've got our um, arm bent like this. And then we're gonna come up that hip off like this and lift it off and we'll hold this about 20 seconds. job. So do you ever run with Gavin, your, your little brother? No, I haven't. He does <laughs> a lot. I know. He's good. He's gotten really good. We run separately. Because I bet he's run like six to eight miles now, I bet, or more. And relax it in between. I'm going to have you stretch that quad a little bit. Pull it back like this. My husband loves to go to Frank's Barbershop. He goes there, um, gets his hair cut. And that used to be a long time ago when you were little, that was a salon massage there on North Shore. Yes, like 20 years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> but again, I was really impressed the other day. We're gonna flip to the other hip, do the same thing. Because at the event I went to that your dad had, he had a bunch of people from Tennessee School of Beauty and also, um, we're gonna lift that outside arm up. He had, um, a lot of students come to that seminar to learn. That was great. All right, you guys are doing awesome. You should feel it in your side oblique area. About 10 more seconds. Looking good. I think Clay's trying to tell me how many minutes we have left. We're and let it down a little bit and pull that outside leg back. Good quad stretch. Job. You know one thing I love when I go get my hair done <laughs> is to get my hair washed. The shampoo. It feels <laughs> it is so relaxing. I bet people fall asleep getting their hair. I do. <laughs> Good job. We're going to stretch it out, guys, for about another minute or so before the end of the show. Looking good. Back to our stomach area. We're going to push up again. If you can push up a little more this time, do. way up and go back to what we did at the very beginning some big arm circles and kind of a little bit of a bent leg in there too Good job got two more of these one more and we can try to do this at the end pushing our arms around I think they call this eagle <laughs> Sydney did a wonderful job Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. You did great. And relax it, other side. 
You guys remember, tune in Monday through Friday, um, busy cane fit and fun. And sometimes in the summer, we're on in the afternoon as well. And you can find me on Facebook or Twitter as well to see who's going to be on, what we're doing. Remember, life is more fun when you're fit. Keep working out, guys. It really pays off. See you next time. And a few little side twists.